Oh, hi, I'm Andre, Solutions Engineer at PDFDRON. In this video, we're going to go ahead and replace the text inside of a PDF document that we previously generated from our Office template. If you haven't seen part one, setting up basic Express Node.js server, you can do so in the description below. And if you want to watch uh, the part two for converting Office uh, to PDF, you can find the link in the description below, as well as to stay up to date with all the videos coming out, make sure that you hit subscribe and stay tuned to our channel. All right, so let's jump in. So here, I'm just gonna go ahead and generate invoice. So first things first, I wanna go ahead and kind of set up my path that I'm gonna be using. So the document that I'm gonna be kind of converting from is gonna be const input path. And let's call path that resolve with our directory name and the path we're gonna provide it. So I wanna go ahead and convert this sales quote right here that we converted from the office template. And we're gonna go ahead and replace all of those strings inside of it. So the path to it is gonna be from this directory files. And then after that, it's gonna be sales quote that PDF. Okay, great, so that looks good to me. And let's create a new output path. Uh, where we're going to save the replacement um, when the replacement happened. So I'll say resolve current directory. Actually, let's just copy it to make it faster. Okay. And then inside of here, uh, we'll just put re underscore replaced. Okay, great. So now let's create our function that's going to be executed by the PDFnet keyword. So to do that, we can call it uh, replace text. And we know it's going to be an async function. We're going to place it here. So inside of it, what I want to do is first create our PDF doc uh, from our local path. So we'll await PDF net PDF doc. And again, if something doesn't make clear, go check out our guides and our documentation. Uh, all of those things, spaces and classes are explained. You can see the whole API that I'm using. So PDF net PDF doc create from file path and we're actually going to give it uh, the input path we've just created okay and then after that let's go ahead and make sure that we walk this doc down since we're going to be making changes to it and nobody else can open it during that time and then i will create a new instance of the replacer so it's available under pdfnet uh, content replacer create and then let's get the first page of the document since this PDF contains only one page. So to do that, we're gonna wait uh, PDF doc dot get page, and we're gonna get the first one. Okay, great. So we kind of set up our uh, document from the file path. We're gonna go ahead and open it. We'll lock it down. We we'll create a new instance of the content replacer that's gonna help us uh, to replace text inside of a PDF. And we got the page from the PDF doc. Now let's go ahead and start kind of replacing some of the strings. Uh, so I'm going to say replacer add string. And we just need to get, for example, the quote number here. So we'll just kind of type out quote number. And we're going to do 6452. Okay. So I'm going to do same thing for pretty much all of them and do that here. So I actually prepared this ahead of the time. So you don't have to watch me type out this whole thing. So I'm replacing the quote number, customer name, address line one, two, item one, item one quantity, item one total, total and expiry date. So let's actually go ahead and call the replacer to process all of the replacements that we just did. And we're gonna give it a page that we need to process the replacements on. And after that, let's go ahead and save the document uh, to the output path we specified. And again, let's make sure that it's linearized uh, so we can stream it back to our server, uh, to our client, sorry about that, um, much, much faster. So the save option is gonna be e linearized to allow it to be streamed. Okay, great, so the function looks great to me. Um, now what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna call it with the PDF net. 
And since we already kind of wrote out this logic that's going to be responding back uh, to our client with application PDF, I can just kind of go ahead and copy this. As you can see, there is some of the code duplication in this endpoint. So feel free to kind of break this out into a separate function and then call it again and again. Okay, so let's kind of start up our server and make sure this works. So to do that, I'm just going to pop open my terminal, run npm start, and the app is going to be listening. Now inside of my browser, I can go ahead and navigate. So really what we're expecting to happen is that when we call the endpoint, um, in this case, generate invoice, what's going to do is return us a PDF, but with our values that are we passed in to be replaced. Okay. So to do that, uh, we can go ahead and call it. So our app is running on localhost 4000. If you did change it, uh, it could be a different one for you. So then I can just specify uh, the endpoint that I want to call. Oh, and a small type right here. So inside of uh, run with the cleanup, we want to ensure that we call and replace text. So let's go ahead and paste it there. So after I've done so, I can go ahead and run this. And as you can see, it replaced the values inside of it. Let's make it slightly bigger. So now we have John Smith, uh, the correct address, the expired date looks good, as well as the totals. Now, as you can see, the content replacer, the way it did it, because it started the replacement uh, from this portion of the string, it kind of started there and left it. So you can actually kind of play around a little bit with your template to kind of get the alignment working perfectly for you. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Now, if you have some ideas or want me to go over specific functionality that you want to see in the next application, go ahead and do so in the comments below. Really looking forward to you to help me to come up with the content for the next video. Feel free to ask any questions as well if you get stuck with any of those endpoints.